Hi, I'm Emily at Looking Glass Photo. Today we're going to talk to you about our rental camcorder, the Canon Vixia HFG10. We're going to go over some tips and tricks so you can record your events successfully. First, we'll turn the camera on. The power button is on the left side here. You'll have to remember that all of this is touchscreen, so you'll have to touch all these buttons. So I'm going to touch the function, and then we'll go into the menu, and then you've got three different options. You've got your camera settings, you've got your record settings, and then you have your general settings. First, we'll go over into some of the modes that you can be in to record. You've got automatic, which allows the camera to choose all of your settings, or you have manual and cinema, where you can control the quality and the output. To change your different settings, you'll want to go into manual or cinema mode, which is on a button on the right side. From here, you'll hit the function button, and then you'll hit the menu button, and you can go into the middle section, the film reel, and scroll down to recording mode. This way, you can change your recording output. You can either do really high quality, which is called MXP, which gives you 24 megabytes per second, which would be for Blu-ray quality. You can go FXP, which is still HD quality, um, just a smaller setting, so more standard definition. Or middle, which is still high quality, just smaller. And also, all of these settings allows you to have more capacity-wise. The default on the camera is SP, which is standard play, which gives you 7 megabytes per second. Or if you needed a smaller but longer, you can put it in LP, which is long play at 5 megabytes per second. You can also change the frame rate. To do that, you'll want to go into the function menu and, again, go into the middle aisle. And you can find the frame rate by scrolling down. So we have four options. You can either do 60i, which means 60 frames per second. You can do PF30. Or if you wanted a more cinematic look, you have two options for 24 frames per second. You can also change your media that you record to. It does have a 32 gigabyte internal memory. And then you have the option of using one memory card or two memory card. To get that, you can go to the function, and then hit menu, and into the middle, go down to record media for movies. Here you can choose the internal memory, which right now is giving us four hours and eight minutes. Or if you wanted to use the memory card A, I have a 16 gigabyte card, which is included with the rental, and that gives us about two hours. And I do have a second one, which is about an 8 gig, which will give you about an hour. If you need more than 32 gigabytes, you can actually relay record, meaning you can record from the internal memory and then relay onto memory card A or continue to relay to memory card B. To do that, you'll want to hit which your default memory will be. Right now, I'm going to use the internal and then I'll hit Relay Recording. And you have the option of just using the internal and A, or you can do the internal A and B. That will give you the additional time that you need to be able to record what you're recording. Now I will show you how to delete the memory. This gets you ready so you can record your event. To get there, hit Function, and then hit Menu, and go to the third menu, which is the Wrench. And we'll scroll down pretty much all the way until we see initialize. What that means is delete. So we'll clear all the memory cards, clear the internal memory, so you have the room that you need to record what you're doing. So hit initialize. We'll hit the button over here. And you can either do the built-in memory, the memory card A, and memory card B. What we'll do is all of them. So built-in memory, it's telling us how much space which is about 32 gigabytes. We'll hit initialize. I usually like to do a complete initialization just to be everything fresh. Complete, and then you'll hit yes. That'll take a, probably a couple minutes depending on if you have stuff on your memory or not. So we'll wait for this to go. <laughs> Hooray, we're done. 
Hit OK, and now you're ready to record. Thanks for tuning in for our tips and tricks on our rental camcorder. If you have any questions or want to reserve the camera, feel free to call us or stop on by.